If you have an Android phone that looks like this, you may be interested in customizing its appearance. In this video, I will show you how I change the look of my phone to something like this. You don't need to be super technical to achieve this. To achieve this look, it won't cost you a penny. It's absolutely free. So let's get started. The reason you need to use a launcher is to unlock design limitations. Although Android allows some customization, a launcher gives you even more control over the look of your phone. Over the course of this video, you will understand what I mean. The launcher I'm using is Nova Launcher, which is one of the oldest launchers known to Android users. After installation, set it as the default launcher on your phone. Go to the Nova Launcher settings and select Nova 7, which is the latest version. While Nova Launcher has a prime version that costs around $4.99, for the sake of this video, we are just going to use the free version to really show you how much you can make changes to your phone without spending a dime. If you set Nova as your default launcher, you won't see everything that appears on my home screen. I'll show you how to achieve this one section at a time. To access the launcher settings, press and hold the home screen and then tap on the gear icon. From there, you can customize your home screen layout, icons, dock, search bar and more. The first step in customizing your phone is to change your wallpaper. Your wallpaper can actually inspire you to customize other elements of the phone. My favorite wallpaper app is Backdrops and it's free. I love the selection of photos that really pop on an AMOLED screen. Here are some of my favorite wallpapers. For this example, I chose the green theme because the top and the bottom get darker. Darker spaces allow you to place widgets that will stand out better. You will understand what I mean in a bit. Now let's talk about the icon pack. There are a ton of free icon packs available on the Play Store. Just make sure that they are compatible with the launcher you are using. Personally, I prefer monochromatic icons in either black or white. The one I'm currently using is called Minimal White Light Icon Pack, which comes with 2500 icons. In case any of your apps can't find a matching icon, you can select one of those closely that resembles it. I also have a few other icon packs that I recommend, which I will make sure to mention in the video description below. Without a launcher, there aren't many options for customizing your dock, such as the background shape, transparency and color. That's why you need a launcher like Nova. Remember I mentioned that I prefer a wallpaper that is darker towards the top and bottom? Well, the icons on the dock don't need a background. The darker wallpaper provides enough contrast. The most helpful feature in the dock section is the ability to add dock pages. I have three rows which allows me to scroll between the three pages of icons I use the most. This is so helpful that sometimes I never have to go to my app drawer. You can add up to five pages. My most used apps are on the second page. So if I want to navigate to another page, I just have to swipe either left or right. Since I just talked about not having to visit the app drawer too often, let's head there before I forget. I prefer a clean app drawer with the black background that goes well with the white icons that I installed. I removed the search bar because in Nova Launcher, you can simply swipe up once you're on the home screen to access it. I also keep the drawer layout at 6x4 so that the icons are legible enough to see. Next, I change the color of the scroll bar to red because it stands out and set the animation of the app drawer to zoom whenever it opens up. Let's now focus on the best part of customization, widgets. I personally prefer to have no more than three widgets on the screen. If I need more widgets, I simply spread them across multiple home pages. Most apps come with basic widgets, but to take your phone's design to the next level, you need to download the KWGT plugin, which is free and compatible with Nova Launcher. After that, install KWGT widgets from the Play Store, many of which are free. These three widgets provide all the information that matters most to me, such as time, battery percentage, and the day of the month. To add a KWGT widget, just add it like you would with any other widget from your home screen. Personally, 
I prefer to hide my notification bar for a cleaner look. To do so, go to the settings, look and feel and turn off show notification bar. If you still need access to the notification bar, simply swipe down from the top of the screen. To display the time and battery level, I use the Andro Mono widget from Oshia KWGT pack. I reduce the size of the text so that it's not too prominent. The best part of KWGT widgets is that you can customize almost everything from the color and the alignment to the topography. If you don't want to display the battery level, you can simply replace it with the weather information. The second widget is also from Oshia KWGT pack. The only change I made was to add the day of the month as an overlay. Adding an element is simple. Tap on the plus icon and choose a predefined text formula. In this case, the formula is the day of the month. The last widget is from KWGT Base Pack, which is also free. I removed the time because I already have it at the top and added the week of the year within the circle to show the current week. I have added another home screen page to my phone where I included a few more useful widgets. These include the world map that comes with the OnePlus phone, my Tesla app and a Notions widget for quickly taking notes. The Notion widget is very helpful especially for jotting down ideas for my video scripts. I have the OnePlus 11 which provides a variety of customizations particularly for the lock screen. However, I prefer to maintain a minimal and clean look on my home screen. To achieve this, I disable notifications on my lock screen completely to clear out the noise. I then opted for a predefined layout and I changed the accent color to green. Setting my phone to a dark theme was a cherry on the top. With OnePlus, I can also match the accent color to my wallpaper's color. I love that. So this is how I typically customize my phone without spending a cent. This layout works best for my daily use. Once you spend time on it, you can get really innovative and it becomes addictive. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this setup. Do share your recommendations as well, I'd like to know. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. If you like the video, hit that like button. It really helps the algorithm and encourages me to make more videos like this. Until the next time, peace.